Hello friends, my name is Mohsin Mulla and I welcome you all to this video lecture. So this is the second video lecture on the electrical drives of sixth unit of industrial automation and control. And before this video lecture, I have already covered one video lecture where I have described about the various types of stepper motors and also we had seen the constructional detail of one of the types that is the permanent magnet step motor okay so where we had considered schematic diagram here for two phase two pole permanent magnet stepper motor and we had seen how exactly we are obtaining the stepwise rotation of the stepper motor in case of that permanent magnet stepper motor okay so now uh, while understanding the working of that uh, uh, stepper motor permanent magnet stepper motor we had observed with the help of that sequence diagram okay so where we had shown the movement of the rotor for different steps okay so we had seen that there needs to be current direction reversal in order to obtain continuous rotation for entire 360 degrees so suppose if the rotor is from vertically held in this position and when it comes back to the same position so it requires to uh, rotate by 360 degrees for which we need to have the direction of current reversed at some stage in both the coils in coil a also and in coil b also at some stage there needs to be uh, current reversal okay so because of which the number of switches required in the permanent magnet stepper motor are too many okay so here for example only for this two phase two pole uh, permanent magnet stepper motor almost eight switches are needed okay in order to obtain the entire rotation here so therefore the number of uh, increase in the number of switches will um, leads to complication in the design part so as number of transistors are required and for transistor biasing circuit and etc so connection will become little bit more tedious and complicated so therefore now we can go to the next type of the stepper motor which is yes the reluctant variable reluctance stepper motor so in case of a variable reluctance stepper motor the mo uh, basic advantage is that it doesn't require to have uh, reversal of the current direction for its operation so as it is when the you can say the different stator poles are excited with the dc voltage so the stator uh, rotor will start rotating following that sequence of sequence of the excitation of the various stator poles here so it does not require any current direction reversal at all okay and also here uh, in case of permanent magnet uh, stepper motor there was need of a permanent magnet as a rotor but in this case of uh, reluctance type variable reluctance type of stepper motor so the rotor is simple cylindrical uh, soft magnetic core okay so it is simple cylindrical soft magnetic core with projected outward teeth okay here you can see the number of teeth so these simply act as the rotor poles okay because they are not having any kind of we can say windings or they are not at all made up of any magnetic material they are a simple soft magnetic material they are not like magnets permanent magnet they are not like magnets they are simply uh, soft magnetic material okay so now here windings are placed on the stator poles so you can see the teeth projected inward so here these all teeth 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 uh, different poles uh, in north and south pole so you can see that projected inward projected teeth of stator so those are representing the coils of the stepper motor so now this particular schematic diagram represents for three phase variable reluctance type stepper motor why it is three phase because earlier I had told that this is a two phase stepper motor. Why it is two phase? Because we are using two windings or two coils, coil A and coil B. So therefore it was two phase. So similarly here it is called as three phase. So why three phase? Because we are using three coils here. One, two, three. For each of the pole we are going to obtain three coils. So therefore this particular type of reluctance a stepper motor is threefold so there is possibility of multiple multi-phase and multipole uh, stepper motor in case of reluctance type okay so that we are not going to discuss in this video lecture but you can definitely go and explore the various types of the variable reluctance type of stepper motor but particularly in this video lecture we are going to only concentrate on this uh, simple schematic diagram of three-phase variable reluctance uh, stepper motor so now here uh, we have the three phases 
so phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 we can call these are nothing but the uh, sequence in which the coils are being excited okay so it is only that so that is referred as phase here the coils which will be excited in order to get the operation so we are requiring here three such coils okay so they are going to be operated first second third or any two for you can say half step we need to keep any two uh, coils energized at a time or for full step we need to alternately go on turning on the different uh, stator coils ok so they will get excited and the rotor is going to get aligned in the uh, you can say lowest reluctance path produced by the stator energized coils so now how exactly the working takes place here so the rotor is made up of soft magnetic material so its tendency is to fall in the line of the lowest reluctance so therefore when a particular uh, set of stator poles are energized say the number one is energized here on and here and this side south and south so when these poles are energized okay so at that time what will happen so here along this uh, line of these two poles so there will be a lowest reluctance path available for the magnetic core so therefore this core will try to align in the same direction so in the line of that magnetic field similarly horizontally also it is going to get aligned so the projected poles here or teeth on the rotor are so uh, placed that so at a time vertically two teeth will come in line and horizontally two teeth will come in line and whenever there is a switching in that case again the tooth will be the different teeth will be aligned along with the different poles energized poles here so you can see in a bit later when i explain the working here so therefore so when a particular set of a uh, pair of uh, uh, stator poles are energized the rotor is going to align in that particular direction so now let us say that first phase is energized so what will happen so this uh, rotor will be so these teeth will be aligned in that direction so they, that will stay in this position so immediately after that now second phase is energized so what will happen so here north pole is created and this will be turned off say momentarily we consider this is turned off and second teeth is this uh, second pole is turned on so here also this second pole is turned on this is turned off and here also the second pole is turned on north again and here is the second pole turned on and this is turned off so now what will happen so you can just observe the working here so now because this pole is now energized so the lowest reluctance path is along this particular 2 to 2 and this side also it is 2 to 2 so therefore this teeth will uh, get aligned in this particular direction here so therefore this will move in this direction so it will come in the uh, line of this two similarly so this teeth here will be aligned try to this teeth will try to align in this particular direction so therefore this also gets rotated means if one particular rotation take place automatically all the other teeth will get aligned in the same lower reluctance path created by the other set of teeth here so at a time three set of teeth will be energized okay so for this one this side two and this side it will be three so like that totally three set of uh, teeth will be energized to because of because of that it will get aligned in that particular direction so now uh, this is for the full step rotation so when it rotates from here to here it is one full step so how much angle it is going to rotate by so that is nothing but the full step angle of the uh, this particular stepper motor that we are going to obtain so it can be simply obtained by using the simple formula for full step uh, that uh, calculation of full step here so for that what we need is what we need is here the total number of stator teeth the total number of rotor teeth so therefore i'll just write here number of number of stator pole teeth okay so you can just name it as pole or teeth pole teeth so here you can count the number of stator pole teeth so 1 2 3 so so on four sets of 3 so it is equal to 12 similarly number of rotor rotor pole teeth so here if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so totally so rotor pole teeth are 8 and stator pole teeth are 12 so by using this we can obtain the pole pitch of stator and pole pitch of rotor so pole pitch of pole pitch of stator is given by simply pole pitch can be calculated by using 360 degrees divided by the poles of that particular setup so now we are trying to calculate for the stator so 360 degree divided by stator poles okay so stator poles or pole teeth 
so here so let me this uh, let me just in indicate this particular pole pitch as theta s and this is equal to 360 degree divided by already we have obtained the number of poles for the stator so that is 12 so if i substitute i am going to get 30 degrees so similarly i can obtain the pole pitch for rotor so pole pitch of rotor can be obtained by using 360 degree divided by the number of rotor poles okay so rotor poles or ro rotor teeth so now let me indicate this as theta r and again here it is 360 divided by number of rotor poles are 8 so therefore if i substitute and uh, calculate this value i'm going to get 45 degrees now full step is given by okay full step angle or full step can be obtained as so it is basically full step angle only so i'll write that full step angle is nothing but the difference of the stator pole pitch and rotor pole pitch so it is the difference between stator pole pitch and the rotor pole pitch so it does not require that first value minus second value it is just the difference between the two so it will be always the positive value so whichever is larger minus the smaller value so here uh, 30 difference 45 Okay, so 30 difference 45. So what is the difference between the two? So it is 15 degrees. So here one full step is one full step is of 15 degrees. Okay. So now uh, this is what for this particular design and with uh, you can say more uh, changes in the design, it is possible to obtain the uh, step rotation rotationary step of even 1.8 degree as small as just smallest possible. step value is 1.8 degree so you can see that if the uh, step is that small how smooth that operation can be obtained and how accurately the operation can be obtained in the required industrial of in that particular application so now here one full step is 15 degrees now suppose we want to obtain half step we do not want to obtain the uh, full step so in that case what we have to do so you can just observe so what i had done earlier we i had considered that at a time only one stator pole was excited but now we have to excite two stator poles in order to obtain the half step so therefore now let me keep first pole also on and the second pole also i am going to excite okay so therefore what will happen so now the lowest reluctance path for this particular stator teeth is not here but it is in between so therefore this will be the lowest reluctance path it will be applied for every other set of teeth here so you can just check it check that so you will get three different values okay so now uh, because of that what will happen if i measure the you can say rotation for this particular rotor in this middle position so it is exactly half of the earlier value so earlier value was 15 degree and I, now i'm going to get half of that as so 17.5 degree so therefore half step is half step equal to 15 divided by 2 that is 7.5 degrees so in like earlier case we had obtained the half step rotation in case of the permanent magnet stepper motor here so here also we can obtain the half step rotation for the variable reluctance reluctance type of stepper motor by using the half step switching operation so that switching operation here you can just observe so first the first uh, stator uh, pole should be excited then immediately after that keeping one on second is excited so therefore there will be rotation by 7.5 degrees then keeping that uh, keeping two on one should be turned off so at that time only two will be turned on so the rotor will again rotate by another 7.5 degree from here it will now get aligned in the direction of that pole two so therefore another 7.5 degree so totally to reach here so it will be in two steps instead of one step first step is here second step is here so totally 15 degree trick was so likewise for other uh, you see this switches uh, this other poles also we can turn on the respective switches to get the complete rotation here so likewise so how fast we are going to do the switching operation depending upon that we can get the rotational speed of this particular stepper motor here 
okay so in this way we can understand the working of variable reluctance type of stepper motor as well as i had covered the working of the permanent magnet stepper motor i hope the concept of this uh, stepper motor working as well as how it is being used in the industrial automation with the help of the uh, can say calculation for full step as well as half step so i hope you will be able to cover the uh, theoretical part uh, whatever i have covered in this slide in this uh, uh, video lecture here okay so and it will be helpful for your further preparation so i will be covering some more types of uh, we can say machine drives in the coming video lecture so keep watching the video lectures and uh, even if you if you want to continuously get notification for all the video lectures you can subscribe the channel as well as if you like the content please do like it and as well as if there is any kind of suggestion or comment you want to give please go ahead and uh, type in the comment section whatever you feel about the video lecture content here okay so till then till the next time happy learning i thank you